Right. I haven't used this camera for a long time. I know it's no good on Zoom. It's alright on Zoom with video. Right? But it's not any good with photos for some reason. Anyway, I've just come up through um, Loxton, over at Compton Bishop now, Webbington Hotel, came up some steps through their car park there, onto the trail that would take me to the top of Crook's Peak. <laughs> so this is when the hike, this is going to be the good hour, this is going to be the good hour. So uh, basically the time now is quarter past eleven. So, I'm not rushing it because it's all uphill. Well, what it is, it's not all uphill. It dips and dives along this bit as we circle. Then the path will be to go up. That's when it'll be steep. Um, Hinkley Point are doing a lot of work over Loxton Way. Looks like they're building a road, actually. Looks like they're building a working great road across the country. <sighs> Um, so maybe it's to join up with the motorway. Uh, it could be it's directly from Hinkley Point. <laughs> well, I don't know. It just looks like they're doing a lot of work. They might be lying pipes or putting up pylons. But they said their work's still got to go on despite the COVID virus. <sighs> just a bit of information in the world. All the world's mainly on lockdown. Some countries are going to slowly let the kids go back to school, apparently. But they reckon the second wave could be worse than the first one. So everyone's still very cautious still. Uh, there's a shortage of PPE, personal protection equipment. And I worry about my own daughter, two of my daughters, who are carers, are going into environments with very little, if not none, no protection. <sighs> Mainly caring for those in their homes. <sighs> no protection for them and no protection for the people in, the, in their homes either, really, when a carer comes in. <sighs> so that's the state of the world at the moment. We're in total lockdown. But you are allowed to exercise. And as you can see, I'm not getting near anyone. <laughs> I've been out for, I've been walking for five hours, right? Five hours? I've been walking. And it'll be, well it will be, it's four hours at the moment. It will be five hours as I start going up Crook's Peak. And then I have to allow five hours back with a, slightly, a slight diversion that I haven't done for a long time. Um... That's plan A. That's plan A. To go past a little hamlet called Christon with a very old church. Uh, I think I've photographed and videoed it somewhere in the past. But not for a long time. Now this little camera is not as powerful as my other Sony's. And it, something happened to it a long time ago where the zoom on the pictures just comes out all white. I mean, it could be that the settings need adjusting, um, which I will look into. But I thought, no, let it, it's, it's lighter to carry. It's got no um, viewer, no viewfinder, so it's a bit difficult getting used to not having it. Um, where are we going here? Wait a minute, am I supposed to go down? Not sure actually. Oh, we'll join up with that path in a minute. There's a path down there anyway. This is the problem with this, it goes up and down. Um, but I thought I'd give it a little go. What, I, what I'm doing with the other one, which I'd done quite a bit of video footage, so now it's... Uh, it didn't tell me it had run out of battery, but I've put it on charge. It can be charging up for the return trip or when I get on the top. So I thought I'm going to do a little bit with this one. 
So this is me at the base of Crook's Peak, walking around the base of it. There's quite a bit of that to do before I start going up. And sometimes I go back down through there. There's a way down, which I might do on the way back. I might do, I might not. We're safe. Um, they might not let, want people walk, wandering up their drives now. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way back I go. It's uh, What else is happening in the world? There was the biggest ever shooting massacre in Canada over, over the weekend just gone. I think 23 people lost their lives, including teachers and pregnant nurse. Who's, <laughs> I think the baby might have been saved. I'm not sure, or she might not, and might not have been uh, a policeman, a teacher, and other people. I can't remember. They didn't publicise it a lot. It's hardly been on the news at all, to tell the truth. Um, but it's Nova Scotia. So it was in April sometime, and I think it was last weekend. You always get a different view when you go one way or another, don't you? Those are the, the, that's the wood over there that I skirted earlier, right through there. And what I'm going to be doing is following a road down the bottom of it and then going back up. Now this is the sort of walk that can only really be done when there's lighter evenings. And you've got enough food and water to get you there and back. So that's uh, an important thing to know. Like I say, there's an awful lot of lorries, mainly lorries, on the motorway there. I'll just zoom in. Uh, obviously I can't, I've got no viewfinder, I was looking for the viewfinder then. Um, oh, there is one camper van, wow, he got away. I can't, I can't focus in very well, I'm afraid, because... I can't see them anyway now. It's over there somewhere. Yeah, no, it's, it's not um, easy to focus with these. That, I really like the. Oh, there it is. There's the motorway now. I can see it now. Yeah, there we go. Vans and lorries mainly. But I just see one camper van. Here we go. There's some more lorries coming now. Deliveries, you see. Here comes the co op green van. I'll turn it off again for a minute. I don't know how good the battery is on this one. I've hardly ever used this camera for years. Over and out for a minute. Right, um, over there, I can't see over there the viewfinder, you really miss the viewfinder, you know. Over there somewhere, there's the Church of Christon, somewhere around there somewhere. It might be along a bit. Very difficult. I really appreciate that viewfinder, you know. Yeah, somewhere about there I think it is. There it is. That's Christen Church. Anyway, somehow I've got to find the way that I get up.
and link up with that lane again. I'm just trying to think where that would be, the, the little cottages. Um, yes, I don't want to go as far as Banwell. I'm trying to see. With the other camera, I probably could. I'm, I'll do it, have a more of a hunt round with the other camera. Um, yeah, I might not um, have to go as far as the church, you see. So I'm just thinking, is it worth doing it as well, you know? If it means I've got to walk extra when really I should be turning off. I think that's the cottages up on the hill there. Let me just, right up on the hill, there's some white cottages. I've got a feeling that's where I've got to aim for. So I think I go up through that way. That wood there would mean I'd have to come through the village a bit to see the church. Yeah, I reckon that's what it is. There's the cottages. And the church is along a bit, and I think I'd go up there. That's what I reckon I'd do. I'd be walking along a path, a road going along there, then turn off. Right. If it's 12 o'clock now, that counts, because I'm actually on Brent Knoll. I'm actually on Crook's Peak, I mean. My goodness, you're never going to believe this. It's only 20 to 12. And I'm actually on Crook's Peak. I'm climbing it. So it could be, I don't know if a, it's very steep in a minute. I doubt very much if I can get to the top in 20 minutes. Because it is very steep. So not that bit going up. But I can class this as being at Crook's Peak at 12 o'clock. So when I get back down in the village, I'll follow a road along. And then... And then I will... Um, Go towards that way and then up. I've written it's up there, I gotta go. I'm not gonna walk no, 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 through no fills with cows in them. Right, so everyone, it's just gone 20 to 12. I said 12 o'clock, and I thought, wow, no, I'm more like one. Uh, I'm not on there yet. I'm not on there, I'm not taking any diversions either. Because before now, I'd go up somewhere like that, which looks like a healthy route. What happens though, you end up walking through gorse. So it's not worth doing it. And I'm not going to do it. I've done it twice before and got myself all caught up in gorse. Right, there's the motorway. Down there. I've got, this is trouble with this, uh, without the viewfinder, I'm having to guess where the motorway is. It's really difficult, actually. Really difficult to see where it is. Yeah, I prefer the viewfinder. Well, this is alright for going uphill like this. And for some scenic views. That's a Banwell wood over there. That hill, that's like a hill for it. That's Banwell. I want to walk through that one day. I haven't done it yet. That was a plan for when I got the um, bus to Banwell. Then went and exploring and then come back over this way. That's still on the list.
Well, I'm quite pleased with myself, although obviously I've been walking nearly five hours, and there'll be another five hours, six to go yet. This is just the start. We're not even turning back yet. I'm allowing myself eight hours to get back, because it's going to be hotter. At least I'll be going down. Down off here, not up it. No sign of it yet. Right, over and out for a minute. No, I hope there's some hawks there. But of course, my camera, I can't. Without the. Um, Focus, sir, you can't. I can't do any photos either. No. Alright, over in a minute. Um, stop. <laughs> 